Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we will be doing the top 10 effects in After Effects. So please keep in mind that this is my opinion. I did try to pick the uh, top effects that I see in tutorials and what I think that uh, we all use as a community at some point in time. Please let me know what you think the top effects are and please keep in mind that these do not include plugins. I already did the top 10 list for After Effects plugins and you can click on the screen now if you wanna watch that video or you can click the link in the description if you wanna watch later. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Starting out our list at number 10, we have Gradient Ramp. And anytime I do a motion graphics project, I always find myself using Gradient Ramp to create a background and Gradient Ramp allows you to create a very cool professional background very easily. For number nine, we have a toss up between curves and levels. And I couldn't just pick one over the other because I think everybody has their own preference on this one, uh, but both effects are great. You can easily adjust your color channels with both effects. So at the end of the day, it's really just which effect do you prefer to use and which one is a little bit easier for you. So up to you guys. For eight, not too late, we have stroke. And stroke is really cool because you can animate pretty much whatever path that you create with the pen tool or uh, with whatever you do with auto tracing. Stroke really makes it easy for you to animate lines and adds a lot of more uh, flexibility to uh, motion graphics. Did you know that 789? That was a terrible joke, not funny. Uh, but at number seven, we have fractal noise. And this effect is great if you're doing anything with atmospherical effects. So if you're creating clouds or you wanna create some you know, atmosphere in your motion graphics or add some haze to your uh, footage, Fractal noise is usually the first effect that I go to, to creating this sort of thing. At number six, we have another toss up between Gaussian and Fast Blur. And I find myself using these effects just about evenly, so it was really hard to pick one over the other. Uh, Gaussian Blur is great for uh, blurring out images and making some cool gradients, um, if that's your sort of thing. And Fast Blur gives you control over the edges, which is pretty cool. Taking a dive at number five, we have Remove Grain. And obviously this removes grain from your video footage, but it does it very well. Uh, however, I did put Denoiser in my top 10 plugins list, uh, but remove grain is fantastic. The only downside to it is that uh, if you're not careful, you can really make your footage soft. So that's the only downside to it, but it's still awesome. Walking in from the door at number four, we have CC Particle World. I'm not a particle guy myself, but this effect really has it all. Particle World gives you a lot of options to create whatever sort of particle that you want, color and uh, how you want to animate the particles to create whatever you're looking to do. So CC Particle World is a great effect. Climbing up the tree at number three, we have Warp Stabilizer. So now I'm more of a tripod guy, but back in the day when I used to do a lot of handheld stuff, Warp Stabilizer used to be a great effect, especially if you're a running gun filmmaker. It does a great job, you just drag and drop and you're done. At number two, we have 3D Camera Tracker, and no, I'm not gonna rhyme this time. Okay, I'm gonna stop. But 3D Camera Tracker is absolutely fantastic. I remember back in the day when there was no 3D camera tracker where you had to do it manually. I think it was before After Effects CS6 um, and that was always a pain but this 3D camera tracker you just drop it in and you select a point and you're like done. So this thing is just awesome. It's very powerful effect inside of After Effects. And finally for number one and I'm probably going to get just a little bit of hate for this one uh, but it is Key Light and I absolutely love this effect. I believe that most of us who use After Effects have to do some keying at some point in time and key light is just perfect, everything that you need in a keying effect and the thing is it's built in and that's just amazing. Key light gives you a lot of control and ways to view your key and at the end of the day it's really just intuitive and fantastic. So that's my top 10 effects for After Effects in my opinion of course and if you guys disagree with this list please drop down your comments. Uh, below. I definitely want to make another top 10 effects for After Effects video but with your guys' opinions and what you guys think because I really want to make these top 10 lists a community thing. So guys please uh, check out my social media links in the description and try to follow me on you know Twitter and like me on Facebook so I can communicate with you guys when I do these top 10 lists because I don't really want to keep these on like my opinion and my experiences. I want to make this a community thing and I want to be able to talk to you guys. So please check out my social media links. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more countdowns just like this and awesome tutorials. This channel is about creating cool things and I do take requests for tutorials. So please drop a comment or message me on my social media networks. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like, it helps me out tremendously and hopefully I will see you guys soon.